Today we shall learn how to draw the diagram of the heart showing external features. Remember, we have discussed about the structure and function of human heart in detail in our previous video. The human heart is a four-chambered organ and it is conical in shape. So the conical heart must be kept in mind. Conical in shape. Here, upper part of the heart is broader and lower part is narrow. So before starting the diagram, just keep in mind the shape of the heart. Almost conical. And it looks similar to that of a man. The upper one broader, lower narrow. The narrower apex is shifted a little towards left. And in human heart, upper part is auricular part, lower part, ventricular part. The upper and lower part is distinctly divided by a transverse groove. This is called coronary sulcus. So first draw a conical shape and just keep in mind the anterior part or upper part smaller, lower, posterior, larger. This side will denote the right part of the auricular part, this one right auricle also called right atrium and this will be the left auricle. Human heart four chambered organ and the ventricular part further divided into two right and left part. So after drawing the proper shape, just start the drawing of blood vessels arising from the heart. So from upper middle side of the heart, we see a thick blood vessel arises. This is the pulmonary aorta. This pulmonary aorta soon divides into two. One going towards right side, another towards left side. Remember, in this diagram, we are assuming this one is right side. And this is the left side. So this pulmonary aorta that divides into two, one branch called right pulmonary artery, another branch called left pulmonary artery. And one another blood vessel that crosses the pulmonary aorta, arising from left side of the ventricle. This is systemic aorta. You can use different colors for making the concept clear. But remember, in exam, you must draw the diagram with pencils. Because if you draw the diagram with a pencil, it is easy to make corrections, if any. Different blood vessels arising from systemic aorta can be shown here. We are showing the blood vessels arising from this arc. This is systemic arc that arises from left side. So two different blood vessels in the anterior part of the heart. And now, remember the right auricle or the right atrium remains connected with two different blood vessels. So here, so the two different blood vessels. One is superior vena cava coming from upper side 
another inferior vena cava from the lower side. So now we shall draw the two auricles. Like this. Here and one another auricle. This is the right auricle. This one left auricle. Remember this one larger, this one is small. And in the ventricular part, we see an oblique longitudinal groove that divides it into two different regions. This one called interventricular groove. And now the outer boundary can be drawn here. So just keep in mind the proper shape of the heart. Then you can draw the diagram easily by keeping an outline. This is inferior and this one superior. Diagram almost completed but leveling remaining. Remember whenever you draw a diagram leveling is must so now we shall write the names of these different structures shown in the diagram here the left auricle this one right auricle in short we may write here also right atrium left atrium similarly this one right ventricle this one left ventricle left auricle or left atrium receives four pulmonary veins two pulmonary veins from left lung and two from right lung these pulmonary veins open into left auricle so if we want to distinguish them but pulmonary veins connected with lungs carrying oxygenated blood. Similarly, this left systemic aorta or the systemic aorta that arises from the left ventricle also transports oxygenated blood, oxygen rich blood. So these two can be shown in different color and these one in one another. So now their names. Remember, this is all while writing the names or while labeling the diagram, we must keep horizontal and parallel lines for drawing that makes the diagram attractive and systematic also names already written here in short but these names can be written by parallel lines so this one of right side superior vena cava this is the right atrial auricle these two right pulmonary veins the groove that divides the heart this is atrioventricular groove and this right ventricle this inferior vena cava in this way you can draw the diagram in an easy way if you keep the proper shape in mind and try it yourself practice more and more then it will be easy for you pulmonary aorta upside written system aorta this is the left side don't get confused this one right side 
so this one pulmonary veins connected with lungs this one left auricle also called left atrium this one left ventricle this one called inter ventricular in fact it divides the ventricular part so inter ventricular groove now come to the right side this one superior vena cava superior vena cava. this one right auricle here right pulmonary vein or simply pulmonary veins This is the groove. Remember, in the beginning we have discussed this. This is coronary sulcus, also called at auriculo or atrioventricular groove. Here you should write the names: the right ventricle, this one, inferior vena cava. name of the diagram should be written below the diagram and here we can write figure human heart external feature and remember this is the front view that is called anterior view thus try to draw the diagram of human heart yourself practice more and more and then you can draw an exam easily thank you